Coming in at number 10, we got Bray Wyatt. As he debuted in 2013, him and the Wyatt family were a very powerful trio. He won the WWE Championship in 2017 and the WWE Universal Championship in 2019. He was also the tag team champion back in 2016 with Randy Orton. Not only was he talented in the ring, but he was known as one of the most creative minds in professional wrestling. From the day he joined WWE, he made you feel like there was no gimmick. This was real life. The transition from being Husky Harris to Bray Wyatt was huge. From just being a random dude in a faction to actually controlling who you are made Bray Wyatt one of the greatest of all time. He also was known as The Fiend, which was one of the strangest alter egos in WWE history. In his first run as The Fiend, he couldn't be stopped. However, in the next decade, he had one of the greatest returns of all time. Unfortunately, he passed away. Rest in peace. Coming in at number 9, we got The Miz, the man who headlined WrestleMania, the man who was a Grand Slam champion, the man who is a two-time WWE champion. It is hard to not put The Miz in your top 10 of one of the greatest during the 2010s. He is one of the greatest heels we've ever seen in WWE history. He knows how to piss a crowd off. He isn't only known for being very skillful in the ring, but he is also known for being a master on the mic. Coming in at number 8, we got the phenomenal AJ Styles. From his debut at the Royal Rumble in 2016 to becoming the WWE Champion, AJ's journey was nothing short of phenomenal. From his rivals with the likes of John Cena, Dean Ambrose, and Shinsuke Nakamura, he won numerous championships including the WWE Championship and the United States Championship. AJ Styles was one of the biggest names in the wrestling industry outside of the WWE. However, he kept the heat and kept it going. Coming in at number 7, we got Roman Reigns. From his early days as a member of the Shield to establishing himself late in the decade as the Tribal Chief, Roman's journey was nothing short of impressive. From capturing multiple WWE Championships, headlining multiple WrestleManias, and formed the Shield with Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose, this decade for Roman Reigns was nothing but dominant. However, he faced certain challenges such as not being over with the crowd and most importantly battling leukemia, but this did not stop him from becoming the beast who he is today. Coming in at number 6, we got Brock Lesnar. From his return in 2012 to his reigns as the Universal Champion, Brock's journey was nothing short of beastly. Brock's supremacy was highlighted by ending The Undertaker's iconic WrestleMania streak and becoming a dominant Universal Champion. This decade for Brock Lesnar in WWE was defined by his sheer dominance and ability to shock the wrestling world. He's done some things we've never seen before. Coming in at number 5, we got Daniel Bryan. From his underdog rise to the top to his triumphant return from retirement, Daniel's journey was nothing short of inspirational. He engaged in unforgettable rivalries with the likes of The Miz, CM Punk, and Randy Orton, delivering classic matches and moments that resonated with fans. Daniel Bryan's... Coming in at number 4, we got Seth Rollins. From his debut as a member of The Shield to becoming the architect and the Monday Night Messiah, Seth's journey was nothing short of incredible. He engaged in epic rivalries with the likes of Dean Ambrose, Roman Reigns, Brock Lesnar, delivering classic matches and unforgettable moments. Seth Rollins became a two-time WWE Champion and solidifying his status as one of the WWE's top talents. Some say his skill set reminds them of Shawn Michaels, but Seth Rollins is his own man and he's one of the greatest to ever do it. Coming in at number 3 we got CM Punk. From his pipe bomb promo to his historic WWE Championship reign, CM Punk's journey was nothing short of revolutionary. From taking over Nexus to being just the best in the world, CM Punk has done it all. He was over with the crowd and to be honest, he was just the best in the world. Coming in at number 2 we got Randy Orton. From his legacy as the Viper to his numerous championship reigns, Randy Orton's journey was nothing short of a legendary. He was engaged in unforgettable rivalries with the likes of John Cena, Daniel Bryan, and Seth Rollins, delivering classic matches and awe-inspiring moments. As he ended up the 2000s with a historic run, continuing it into the 2010s, he was insane, man. Bald Randy Orton, the Viper, was just going crazy. He had no championship right behind John Cena and Ric Flair. Speaking of John Cena, if it isn't obvious, coming in at number one, we got John Cena. John Cena's journey was nothing short of iconic. John Cena was a fan and still is a fan favorite, let's not say was, but if you asked any kid throughout this decade, maybe even today, before this decade, any time, 9 out of 10 times they're going to say John Cena. Whether if you loved him or hated him, you respected him no matter what. In the ring and outside of the ring, John Cena has done a lot. He is tied with Ric Flair for holding the most world championships at 16. John Cena has took out guys like Brock Lesnar, Randy Orton, and even the Nexus. It is hard to deny his greatness, the time and the impact he has made and put into this company. It is currently 2023 and John Cena has made his return. I know this isn't the same decade, but as we get towards the end of this video, they are considering him the GOAT. And I definitely agree with this. It's just the GOAT and there's no denying that. But with that being said, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe and let me know what you guys think about this list.